I wish I could say that I'm sorry. But I'm not. It is what it is. You did it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Leave that butt up there. Hmm. Quality. That's a very, very tight market right there. You've got (laughs) maybe two years to enjoy that before she goes full Tyrannosaurus Rexitis. And you wind up with a woman with uh, big legs and long tits. Well. And don't forget cottage cheese. Oh, God, yeah. The devil's braille. <laughs> the devil's braille. I'm borrowing this. <laughs> Write that shit down. <laughs> <All> right now. <laughs> devil's braille. All right, I, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> The Devil's Braille. Oh, that's going to be a new porno movie for, like, the BBWs out there. What? Really annoying. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Volleyball. Volleyball is always a good sport. Especially beach volleyball. Mm. Yes. This is Thought Thursday. Yeah. So we can't talk about and this, this kind of stuff. this picture is the only reason people watch beach volleyball. Yeah. And the main topic <laughs> oh, yeah. today. If you want to, you know, just enjoy volleyball without having to enjoy volleyball, just Google uh, Brazilian women's volleyball team. Yeah. Well, today we're covering. Look at the images. O P P, <laughs> other people's penises. <laughs> <laughs> he said as he readjusts himself in the seat. <laughs> it's just gnarly. Yeah, this uh, farticle from the New York Slimes <laughs> yeah. is trying to normalize, well, th- they're pushing people in the direction where apparently living apart from your spouse or long-term relationship partner should be normal. The wife left, but they're still together. After a pandemic dip, the number of married couples living apart together has started to rise again. And shock of all shockers, women in search of their own space are driving the increase. Well, women file for divorce 80% of the time, and if they're college-educated, they file for divorce 90% of the time. Yep. So there's the dude in this equation, and even the married woman can't escape boxed wine and cat land. No, no, she's, she's, she is there. I mean, that is the typical middle-aged woman right there. Yep. She's obviously a feminist. You could tell by her hair. Short butch haircut. Yeah, and yeah. she works as a shuttle driver for Mizzou University. There you go. Yeah. I'm sure that makes, what, 35 grand, 40 grand a year tops. So I wonder who's really footing the bill for the extra space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder who's really doing that. <laughs> the hubby. Yeah. The hubby. Uh, this, is, this disgusts me that we have so many simps out there. They are willing to be literally turned into financial slaves just so, just for the hope of maybe breaking off a piece. I just don't get it. I don't get it either. Yeah, but uh, this particular guy, I mean the husband, he's either really confused about what's going on or she's blackmailing him with something like, I w- if you stop funding my lifestyle, I will divorce you and I will suck you dry. That's it. That's, that's all it takes. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it's really all it takes. It because really they have been together for 18, or was it 19 years? 18 years. years. Yep. Mm-hmm. 18 years. Yep. What are you going to do? Yeah, maybe she has some sort of leverage. That's well. very possible. I mean, when you live in the Western world, having a vagina is your leverage. You walk into divorce court, you say you're not happy, they give you the papers, they take half his shit, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, and the, here's the funny part. In in the states that issue permanent alimony, when the dude gets divorced, they take half his shit, and usually within seven to ten years, he's paid the other half of his shit just in alimony. Yep. I'm checking on it just to see if Missouri has it. Alimony uh, in Missouri. Uh, spe- yeah. uh, it's calculated based on the length of the marriage, so it, it doesn't look so like... So it has an end date. Now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Either way, I mean, these are not... Spring chickens. Uh, Mr. Ordway is 58. His wife, who goes by Miss Ordway, I, I love, gotta love the, the, the just the sly little jokes in the uh-huh. New York slimes. Yeah, 62, yeah. so she's four years older. The big mistake. Big mistake. Do not, listen, never get involved with an older woman on a permanent basis. It yep. will not end well for you. All of her shitty qualities, all of her appearance issues, all of her character, they will not get better over time. No, they will but not. They will, no. 
inevitably get worse, much worse. Yep. And really that that sub-headline really says all you need to know. Women in search of their own space are driving this increase. Good. Let them have all the space they want. I don't care anymore. I literally, I'm sick and tired of hearing about men jumping off high objects to test gravity because they're getting divorced yeah. or shooting themselves or driving uh, driving against traffic. You know, I mean, there, there's just a multitude of horrific bullshit that I've heard in the past 40 years about men getting divorced or going through these brutal breakups and just getting wrecked. Yep. Wrecked. And... You know what this reminds me of? Well, two things. One, military wives. Oh, my God. They, they were notorious for this. And it's spread yeah. into the regular population now. They have a stigma and a stereotype for a reason. These it's, are listen, women who no. largely agree to marry dudes who they know are never going to be home. So they get to have their own space, and they also get to pretend to be single mm -hmm. while and a dude who goes overseas, fights for his country, probably gets traumatized, and that gives them a gift-wrapped excuse to say, I'm not happy because you're not the man I fell in love with when they come back home. Cue the divorce rate. That is a fact. Yep. That is not a, a uh, you know a hypothesis. No, it's a fact. Or, even better, these guys come back covered with the American flag, and the widow gets everything. Widow gets everything, and she gets widow clout with which to go out and dupe the next dude. Yep. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Yeah. I'm not a divorcee. I'm a widow. See? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because well, yeah, widows don't have that clout. You know, they don't have that uh, that stigma, even if she's got a kid. Yeah. Men no, are not no. going to look at widows the same way they no. look at single mom. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I am... Like, I don't even have a problem with widows. No, they didn't sign up for that. No, they didn't sign up for it. I mean, it's terrible what happened. It is what it is. Yep. But, you know, hey. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.